hello everyone yeah today's concept you are going to learn here is how to install uh, virtual box and a virtual man manager and windows server 2016 on the virtual box right first of all here <coughs> you can search for virtual box download then from here oracle virtual box you can directly download virtual box so here you have got virtual box options so for windows host you can select and you can download but uh, in my case i have already one virtual box available okay right thereafter after downloading and uh, virtual box you need to install it just double click the downloaded file then you can <coughs> as per the instructions you can move on next 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 so like this you will finish your installation and then you have to look for the microsoft windows server uh, 2016 iso so iso file we are downloading for our virtual box so you will get the options like this from the microsoft then you can select 64 edition in general actually i have already filled the form but in your case you will get a form something uh, like this this page you will get so here you you need to fill your details just click on download once you do this you will get this page so here you have to click 64 bit edition nowadays all the computers are new computers so 64 edi edition will be supporting okay so here in my case see already i have a file downloaded file so i don't download i don't download now because i have already you can download by clicking here right so now let us let me take you here see i have kept the files like windows server 2016 and if you want windows 10 also you can download and keep the file it is also an iso file <coughs> so here let me take you to the installation part so for installing windows server uh, here already i have installed one machine so here i am going to install another one okay i will show you so from the beginning just you need to click on the new here click new then right here whatever you write it will be visible here i am writing only server 2016 <coughs> and thereafter here you have got windows select windows then here you have to select windows 16 and a 2016 you can go next here there is an option iso image but i will take little later next so here i will allot memory base memory up to 4 okay 4096 mb and here i will give some processes around four processors i am allotting right go to next <coughs> <coughs> so here by default 50 gb is selected <coughs> so i am continuing with this 50 gb so what is the option here create a virtual hard disk yes it is creating a new hard disk and a, uh, a, it is allocating around 50 gb so we are calling it as a virtual hard disk right next and finish so this is what here whatever the name we have given and system configuration is shown and display configuration is shown here <coughs> then in this case here students i'm going to storage okay or else you can go to settings also both the things it, it will take you to the same place so storage here i'm going to whatever the file i have downloaded that file i'm selecting here so from this point i'm selecting choose a disk file okay right so here already I have saved my file here in this folder so I'm selecting this file 
okay then click on okay so now see I have taken I have loaded the file into the virtual box now I am going to start start the installation process so it will take some time students So here, loading the files. Here I'm selecting the language. If you want, you can make it a full screen also. Or else, if you want, you can make it full screen mode. Switch, so it will come in a full screen mode. then to come out of the mode then yes here now I am starting in this you have to focus on this data center evolutions and desktop and experience okay if you select this first option it will take you to the CLI mode but I want desktop okay so data center evolution here you have standard but I'll go for data center evolution I select this click on next accept next and here also you should be very careful this is upgrade upgrade means already if you have a, a, an operating system then you are upgrading with this but I want to have a new one fresh one so I am clicking here then I select this option I am going to the next where do you want to install Windows so here in this place it is installing we have already allocated 50 GB so next so now installation started So still the <coughs> installation process is going on. So Windows needs to restart. So you can click on restart. So here students, I am just coming back, view, full screen mode, yeah. So almost done your installation is almost done here you will get one peculiar peculiar problem what is that peculiar in the sense uh, control alt del it will ask but virtual box uh, whenever you try okay let us give the password password we have to follow the standard students one cow everyone one you should have a capital letter and small letters thereafter a special character then numbers all the things together around more than eight digits you have to give like a standard capital letter small letters special characters numbers together you have to make a password which uh, you don't forget right click on finish yes now here you have got control alt del but don't press this if you press this 
the keyboard is the keyboard will make your system entire system control all del it will bring you to another screen so the easy procedure is here you have to click and press the right side control and delete button remember press right side control plus delete together that's it you will get into this then you have to give the password for admin that's it your <coughs> windows 2016 is with you now here you got one notification do you want to allow your pc to be discoverable by other pcs and devices on this network yes yes i want my system to be visible to the network so now the server manager is starting yeah so now let me configure the ip address okay so here just uh, i'll open the control panel and then in the control panel i go to network and internet okay click on this then here network and sharing center then you have to go to the adapter but students uh, uh, everyone here you don't know what is uh, where which adapter it has got ip address so first make sure here click on this one open the command prompt then run the command ip config yes here i have got only one uh, ethernet adapter and it has got some ip address okay so exit go to the control panel then <coughs> click on network then network and sharing center here change adapter settings now right click ethernet go to the properties thereafter here ipv4 is given right tcp ipv4 go to the properties of this one then here it was actually obtain ip address automatically so dhcp was working so i was getting ip address so here i am making a static ip address uh, i need to press my num lock yes then 192 168 dot 10 dot 10 okay subnet mask then default gateway so 192 168 10 dot 1 because I am planning to have some internal pinging for this reason I have given my private address right I just want to be in the same network so it's a 10 dot 10 right 10 dot 10 okay okay close 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 